We are going to determine the vertex of the parabola while it's equal to negative 2x squared plus 12x. And we also have to know if the vertex is going to be minimum or maximum. So as we can see this equation, it's in the standard form because we have the ax squared plus bx plus c form. So we see that the a value, it's a number in front of the x squared, which is negative 2. And the b value, it's a number in front of the x, which is 12. The c value is 0, but it doesn't really matter. And the important thing right here is that to find a vertex, whenever we have a parabola in the standard form, we are going to use the vertex formula. So I've already this down for you guys. The vertex formula says the vertex is going to be at x equals to negative b over 2a. So let me write this down like this. Negative b over 2 times the a value. And we have to use this formula. And as you can see, we have the a values and b value already. So we can just plug in and work this out. So let's see. We will have negative on the top because that's from the formula. And then we'll open the parentheses. I'll put in the 12 into this parentheses. So we have negative parentheses 12 on the top. And then over the 2 is from the formula. And then parentheses. And then we plug in the a value, which is negative 2 right here. So this is the setup. And now we just have to work this out. On the top is negative 12 over the bottom is going to be 2 times negative 2. That's going to be negative 4. And when we divide negative 12 over negative 4, we get positive 3. But then this is only the x value. You see, this is only the x value for the vertex. We also have to find out the y value. And to find out the y value, we refer back to this because we know that y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 12x. And I'm just going to plug in this x value into this 2x right here. So let's work this out. We will set this up as negative 2 times the x. We are going to plug in 3. And then we have that to the second power. And then we add it with 12 times x. And the x is 3 right here. OK, so let's see. We do this power first, right? So we worked out 3 to the second power. That's going to be 9. And then 9 times negative 2 will get negative 18. And then we are going to add 12 times 3. That's going to be 36. Negative 18 plus 36, we have positive 18. So we know that the vertex is the point 3 for the x value, comma, the y value is 18. 3, comma, x. I mean, 3, comma, 18. That's the vertex. And then is this the minimum or maximum? How do we know? Well, let's think about it. Let's look at this equation again. You see that we have y is equal to negative, 12, negative 2x squared plus 12x, and the a value is negative 2, right? So you see that the number in front of the x squared is negative. That means we know the parabola is going to be an open down parabola, something like that. Once again, because the a value is negative, we are going to have a surface parabola. The parabola is going to open down. And then the vertex, 3, 18, is going to be right here. Right, that's the vertex. And as you can see, this is going to be the highest highest point of the parabola. Therefore, this point right here is a maximum. Okay, so that's it. And 